Hello and welcome to Maximum Search Rambunctious Gaming. I'm Shane02, and today we're playing an indie game called Project Zomboid. Uh, this is a game created by the Indie Stone. There they are, right there. Um, this game is basically about survival. You start out in a quarantine city that has been quarantined by the government because the zombie outbreak is broken out. I'm going to start on a on a save that I had earlier. I actually recorded a previous thing, which is a lot better than this, so sorry if I sound a little bit mad. I, I didn't have the volume on, so now I'm having to record once more. So hopefully this will be better than my last recording. Um, it takes a while to load, so while it's loading, uh, I'll tell you some backstory around here. Basically, the Basically, the game starts out, you're in the fictional county of Knox County in Muldrow, Kentucky. Muldrow, Kentucky is actually a real place. It's in Kentucky. It has 52 cemeteries, ironically, which I found out when I was looking through it. Uh, it's uh, loading. It's taking its time. Here. Basically, there there's no way to outlive the zombie apocalypse, essentially. This is my character. I spawned with no clothes on, which is cool. Um, I'm going to put my clothes on. Again, put clothes on here. With that. Uh, there's a sweater. Oh, no. There's a zombie outside my house. Uh, where is my black sweater? Oh, I'll just put on the white sweater. There we go. Here I am. I'm looking good. I'm in my base. There's a zombie outside. I, my friend Brandon Cook, is in the house with me somewhere. Uh, let's go see who's knocking on the door. You hear him too, don't you, Brandon? I hear him. You're outside. This is my buddy Brandon Cook. He's uh, he's my gangster black buddy. He's like Lewis. He likes his pills. Oh, don't want to do that. Mm. There's an awesome music. Uh, let's see. There's you ready for this, Brandon? We're gonna open that door, and then zombies are gonna come in. You ready? The music in this game is really cool. Uh, it's, it's really cool. This game sells for about $8, I think, on the indie game website or over the Sura, which is like an indie, which is like Steam, like, but only an indie game version, kind of. Like, instead of Valve games and stuff like that, it's indie games. I found about, out about this game from watching a playthrough by Sips, you might have seen his playthrough of Project Zomboid. I don't know, you've probably seen some of his other work. You've probably seen some other members of the Oz cast. Blue Zephos, he's a part of that. I thought I turned off the music, but you know, whatever. So, uh, let me show you some of the basics about this game. Uh, there's Brandon, he's an NPC, you can make him do stuff. Uh, you can make him, you can give him orders, you can't, you can't talk to him yet, I'm guessing that'll have something to do with future quests or something. You can make him guard, you can make him follow you, you can make him stay put. Oh wow, there's somebody else. Uh, I'll make him stay here. 
stay here. Stay here, Brandon. I don't want you getting infected, turning into a zombie and eating me while I'm asleep. Stay here. Okay. Sure. He says, sure. I'll see you later, man. I'll, I'll, I'll be right back. All right. See you later, bro. I saw somebody just run by here. Let's see if they want to join up with me. Mm. Hopefully, if I do get another survivor to join me. No, actually, I think I'm a, uh, I don't think I'm a park ranger. I think I'm a policeman. But oh well, it doesn't really matter. You get special perks for the pr profession you chose. Uh, that's the profession you were before the zombie apocalypse. Yes, I just went through that window. You can crawl through windows and stuff. I'm in the grocery store right now. Um, let's see. Get some of that. Uh, there's some orange soda. Uh, man, that really makes me mad that the sound was recording in my last recording. That really sucks. Hopefully, it's recording in this one. Um, there's no way to outlive the zombie apocalypse in this game. You just have to basically survive for as long as you can. There's no rescue. It is guaranteed that you will die. This is basically the story of how your character survived. Or how he died. This is not his triumphant... Whatever against all odds. His triumphant survival against all odds. His, his amazing story of how he found a cure. You know, this is this is how he this is how he lived his final days on Earth. So uh, we're in the park right now. You know, it's it's pretty pretty calm, pretty peaceful. Here we are in the suburbs park, Knoxville Park. We're not in Knoxville. We are in Muldrow, Kentucky, a place with fifty-two bloody cemeteries. Sorry if I offended any British people by that. You might have, uh... uh oh, I'm hungry. I need to eat something. I'm about to die. We don't want to, uh... That'd be kind of embarrassing if I were to just, you know, just fall over and die right between, right in the middle of my playthrough. Uh, if I can click that. Here we go. This is, this is how you eat. Nom, 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 nom. Delicious. I have a peanut butter sandwich. Which, which is delicious. And it's seven o'clock. I should probably start getting home. So uh, let's uh, let's return to our house. If I can move, here we go. Uh, why can I not leave the park? Looks like I'm taking the long way. Uh, we're gonna go visit. I guess we're gonna go visit the bank. The game's a little glitchy. I'm playing an, a test version, uh, Alpha 0.2. There's a zombie. Um, he's after me. Nope. Yeah! Uh, let's make sure I didn't get bit. Uh, you click on the heart and you bring up this interface. Uh, it tells you all the different, oh uh, crap. Uh, oh, run away. I'm not gonna run the whole way, because that attracts even more zombies, and we don't want to attract zombies. I'm in a really dangerous, this is a really dangerous music. Uh, Shut up, music. This is a really dangerous predicament for me because at night more zombies begin to spawn, which is not good because in this game you can't just take out a whole sword with an axe unless you're just that good. But after a while, you know, zombies will begin to multiply. And no, they don't have babies. That would be. I don't know how that would happen, but 
gonna go to sleep because our character is probably really tired. Well, no, he is because you can see by the noodles on the side. This is the level up screen here. Uh, you can upgrade swinging, which I will do right now. There we go. Uh, you can turn off the music by pressing M, which does not work. As you can hear me. Oh, there we go. It worked. Okay. I hope you guys can hear me a little bit better. Um. So let's check. There we go. I've got some uh, trousers in there. We got some trousers in there. Uh, this is where I'm keeping my backup of food here in the bathroom. I don't know what that is on the floor, but I don't really want to pick it up. Uh, there's here's my canned foods, my non-perishable food here that I've been uh, saving up. I'm gonna put some more in there. Uh, some canned food, canned soup, canned soup. But just put all of this in there. Uh, canned soup doesn't can't really do anything unless you have a can opener. Uh, I will show you some crafting by opening up a can of tuna. Uh, some really good, delicious, nasty, uh, uh, delicious tuna. Here we go. I'll just eat that. I'll just waste it because I'm a wasteful person. Um, there we go. I made my very well fed noodle go up. So let's get the canned soup in there. And just cram it in there. You know, get the crisps. See, that's how you know this is a British game because instead of calling them chips, they call them crisps. But they were called them ch cri chips. People would think that they were, people in Europe would think that they were french fries. Because British people are weird like that. No, I'm just kidding. I love British people. They're cool. I have the greatest accents in the world. I could do a pretty good British accent if I wanted to. Which I'm doing right now. Uh, I, I listen to a lot of... I'm around a lot of British people. Because I talk to British people. Uh, on TeamSpeak. I'm going to put these nails in here because I don't really need them. Here we go. Slowly doing that because this game is lagging because I have fraps running because fraps is fraps does not seem to like my computer. These are tissues here. Uh, let's see, uh, they mute sneezes and coughs for when you have a cold. These books reduce boredom. These are some painkillers. Water. Uh, you drink water automatically, so you don't like die of thirst or whatever. I also have a bit of alcohol, you know, in case the zombies are, are surrounding me. They've killed Brandon. Speaking of Brandon, where is that little bugger? Let's go find Brandon. Brandon, are you in here? Where'd you go? I hope he didn't go crazy and leave. Because uh, Brandon's like my only companion I have in this. <gasps> Brandon! Brandon! Brandon, no! <laughs> Brandon! 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 Oh my... <laughs> Brandon! What's happened to you? You're dead! Brandon! You're dead! Oh my gosh! <laughs> I'm not really crying, I'm just, I'm just mourning the loss of my friend. Brandon was the coolest gangster G I ever met. It was so cool. I'm gonna take his axe. Um, and I'm gonna take his shoes. Uh, so I can always remember him by the smell of his shoes. Brandon. I wish I could bury him or something. He was, he was the coolest homie G I ever had. You, we were like, we were like gangster homie G's. I, I, I don't even know how he died. Did he like die of hunger or something? I mean, I mean, I mean, did he like, did he like just have a heart attack and die? Cause I mean, his his hair is kind of white. 
He looks kind of old. And the best part is, is that I can't move his body. So, I'll always have this reminder of my best friend, who's just laying dead in my dining room. Which is just great. Well, this is just amazing. I apparently just forgot to feed him because he's apparently my animal. Um, let's put some stuff in the fridge. Uh, well, this has been a great play playthrough, hasn't it? Well, this is this is just great. This is just great. This is just great. Uh, I'm gonna use these sheets to cover up the door, and then I'm going to stop recording because. Um, uh, there we go, I'm going to finish that, now I'm going to stop recording because night is falling and I don't want my computer to run out of memory, so I guess I will see you guys later, thank you for watching, uh, don't likes, favorites, comments especially, those are really helpful, they help me keep going, uh, if you like the series I'll probably might make some more Project Zomboid, Stuff. Maybe see how long I can survive, you know, after this character dies. Because he will die. That's, that's a given fact. So I guess I'll see you guys later at the Games Pause. Goodbye.